guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an email that was sent from a subscriber. And this is about a young guy. He's a naval officer, very young. I believe he's 24 years old. And basically, he just got into a lot of hot water because of something that he supposedly did in front of, um, obviously, people that served under him and obviously a woman. And now he is being transferred where he can't work with the same people they did before. He's not getting a straight answer as to what exactly happened or what is going to happen next. And this could impact him getting a promotion. This could go on his permanent record, all that stuff. And you're going to see as I go through this, what happened is that it really wasn't that big a deal. But in today's world, the littlest thing could really have a negative impact on a guy in his career. And it's no different in the military. Okay. Now, I never served in the military. My parents were both officers in the Navy. My dad was a, was a senior officer. And let me tell you, I could this type of crap didn't happen back then. And you're going to see in this article because you're going to see all these people, apparently a survey goes about where enlisted men can write about their officers. Basically, the officers are at the mercy of the enlisted men because they can write things about about complaints or stuff like that. And you're going to see the problems that, that are definitely going to have happened here and what could happen, obviously, down the road with this policy. And guys, this guy who wrote to me, I've done videos on emails he sent him before. The first one was back in the summertime. He was young, and he was wanting to know if he should... He's, he's focused his whole life, even as a kid, on his studies, doing well in school. Now he's in the Navy, and he's focused on his career, and now he's really into working out and martial arts and all that. And he wanted to know initially, should he then start to you know, take a break from all that and start to find the right girl or keep up with his purpose? And I let him know, Dude, focus on your purpose. You can get women later on in life. Because right now, obviously, you're young and just focus on the purpose. And then he then wrote another email a few months later talking about a young woman who obviously is an officer as well. And he obviously likes her. She's in the Navy and want to know if it would be okay if he obviously made the move on her and all that. And I advise him strongly, don't do it. Okay? Stay away from the women in your workplace. In today's world, it will not go well. Now, I don't know if the events of this email are... It, uh, directly connected to the email he sent me before dealing with that woman. He didn't say. I don't know. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But but again, I'm going to go through this, guys. You're going to see just the kind of negative impact, thanks to M2, it is in the world today, even in the military. So it starts off. He says, Strong, it's been a while. I got some bad news. Just like what the title of the email suggests, your boy got accused of S-word harassment in the workplace. Let's start from the beginning. The Navy has this workplace survey that comes out every year and is voluntary for anyone who chooses to address any gripes within a Navy command. The gripes can range from bullying, abuse of power, S-word harassment, favoritism, racism, etc., etc. This past November 2020, my boss has notified me that I will be transferred to a different department within my ship and I'm not allowed to enter any of my former workspaces without an escort and I'm not allowed to talk to the sailors that used to work for me at this time. Imagine that shock, guys. And again, from the emails that, that this guy sent me before, this guy seems like a pretty good guy. So I have a hard time believing that he obviously did, did anything so bad that he would get this type of treatment. Confused about the situation that I'm in, I asked around to figure out what kind of situation I'm in because my boss has refused to tell me. Word on the streets is that I'm under investigation because someone mentioned something in the survey. However, no one would dare tell me what it is that I'm accused of. So this guy is under investigation. He can no longer work with the people that worked under him before and has to have an escort and yet he can't face his accuser. They won't tell him what's going on or what, what's, what he can expect any of that. What a load of bullshit. Now, I don't know if this policy has been in effect for a long time, but I'm going to be willing to bet it probably wasn't going on during the time of my parents in the Navy. One day I was asked into the security office on the ship and I was read my rights and my charges. I'm sure that was a very pleasant experience. I am under investigation for S-word harassment and unprofessionalism. What for, you might be wondering? For having been seen scratching my you-know-what and performing a pelvic thrust in a joking manner. I promise you I won't be foolish enough to do these things to a woman. 
If I was caught doing these things, I was either unaware of who was around me when I was scratching my you-know-what and or I was joking with the guys that I work with. The word devastated is an understatement to, to how I feel, felt in that moment or finding out what I was accused of. Exactly. Now, I'm going to assume it wasn't the guys that reported him for doing the joking around thrusting movement or whatever it was, you know, and certainly him scratching his you-know-what, but this once again proves why this is why it's best, in, especially in a military situation, that the guys are with the guys and the women are with the women, okay? And you guys that are either presently serving in the military or have served in the past, please, in the comment section, let me know what you think about that particular thing. But seriously, but just over that, now I will say, with regards to him obviously joking around and making the thrusting movements, this guy, he is an officer. He can't be goofing around with the, the guys that serve under him. There's a reason that officers, like they have officers clubs, and officers hang out with officers, and they don't hang out with enlisted men. Because they're the guys in charge, and they're the guys that are going to be responsible for lives, and they're the ones that have to give orders in a situation. And so if the officer is joking around or goofing around with the guys that serve under him, they're not going to respect him. So I will say this, even if it wasn't, even if he just did that, joking around thrusting movement he talked about dude you can't do that you can't be the buddy to the guys that serve under you i again i don't i never served in the military my parents did okay and i hear stories i know people that have you can't joke around you can't be the buddy you, you don't have to be a jerk but playing around all that that's just not going to go well because they're going to see you as an equal when I was in high school, I had a science teacher that was the comedian. He was always joking around with the students and everything like that, being the fun guy. And everybody really liked him, but nobody respected him. Because after he would spend the first 10 minutes of class goofing around, talking about his kids and all that, he would try to do the lesson. And all the kids were so wound up from him joking around and being the comedian, nobody paid attention. And they were always, they weren't being respectful in that way. And he always, kind of, I think, wondered why. It's because this guy was trying to be the buddy. So if you're in charge, you can't joke around and goof around. So when this guy obviously moves to a different command, has different sailors under him, no more being their buddy, man. You cannot do that, okay? Just I'm, And even if, whether it's just a bunch of guys or there are women there, no way. You've got to be serious. You're in charge. I need to point that out because it's very important. He continues... Since going through high school and college, the schools have been putting into the heads of boys, don't grape, don't S-word harass. Now, here I am getting accused of that exact same thing over something so small. I am positive that I am well-loved among the people that work below me. Turns out I may have been loved too much. Well, again, this goes back to what I'm saying. If your men, the people that served under you, the enlisted men, if they, um, if they loved you, then I think something's wrong there. I mean, you can have the, it's good to have them respect you, but you, I mean, you want to have them respect you, but if they love you in a way that you're the cool, the cool officer and the buddy, you can't be their buddy. You got to be, you're the boss. That means no joking around, no screwing around, none of that stuff, because God forbid there's a situation where you got to give serious orders about something, something goes down and they hesitate for a second because they may not want to do it. And they see you as a, a buddy as an equal. It's not going to go well. Lives are going to be in your hands, so you can't going forward in your new command. After obviously what happens happens, you can't be the buddy anymore. It's like the old Machiavellian scenario: What is it better to be feared or loved? Ideally, it'd be nice to have both, but it's far better to be feared than loved. Because if you're feared, people are going to really think twice about screwing with you. But if they love you, hey, they're not going to be so. It'll they'll handle things differently. It's sad but true. But human nature is what it is. He goes on, one of the sailors that works below me is dating an Asian man on my ship. Someone who is red-pilled and understands womanese would know that the more a girl tries to convince you of something, the more likely the opposite is true. Behind my back, she would always talk shit about me. I truly believe that her relationship with this other Asian sailor was on the rocks and she had to do something to prove her loyalty by ensuring that I was removed from my position. I don't know about that, but the bottom line is he has women, female sailors, female enlisted men serving under him. And again, this goes to prove if he's there making thrusting gestures, you obviously know that's going to be taken. A bunch of guys may see that as he's goofing around and he's a cool officer, which is bad. 
But the woman in today's world, because again, they're being conditioned for this, is going to find offense to that. You can't do that, man. You cannot do... Your career is far too important than being popular and being the cool, likable officer. You can't do that. I've heard two other... I've heard that two scenarios can happen to me. My captain can either still promote me because I was up for promotion at this time, but the incident goes on my record. Second second option is that I don't promote and this doesn't go on my record. In a high leadership position, my bosses have to show the crew that this survey works and this survey should be trusted to be, bring negative incidents to light. They just they just have to determine that the survey works too well or just enough. As of January 2021, I was promoted to uh, L- lieutenant junior grade. However, I have not heard back on whether this will go on my record or not. These things happen to two kinds of people. The alpha Chad in the workplace who flirts and bangs all the women or the creep who discuss a lot of women. Which one am I? I'm definitely not sleeping with the co-workers or flirting. Well, if he's obviously paid attention to my advice, he's not dating or flirting or hooking up with his female co-workers, good, good for him, good for you watching this. But like I said throughout the video, dude, you got to be extremely careful, okay? You're, look what happened already. Okay, that. By the way, congratulations, your promotion. That's awesome. But this goes on your record. It's there, and that could have. It might be easier for you to be promoted early on, but later on, if you if you make the Navy a career and do your twenty years, whatever the hell it is, as you want to promote to higher rank, what happened? This incident could definitely come back to bite you in the ass down the road. So, what's done is done. You can't go anything, anything to change the past. But my recommendation is this. Going forward, on, when you have your new command, with new people serving under you, you cannot be the fun comedian officer. No more thrusting and joking around all that. It is all business. You can be a good guy, but you can't be their buddy. Absolutely not. I don't know how that hasn't been said to you beforehand, but going forward, none of that. And this goes to any other of you guys watching this that are in the military or any of you guys that are just your managers or bosses. What happens? I mean, if you guys have had experience in this. What happens when you joke around with the people that work under you, when you become their buddy? Okay? The job isn't done as well. I worked in a restaurant, a chain restaurant, throughout college. And we had managers that were real hard asses and that weren't the buddy of the the waiters and the bartenders and the hosts and, the, and, and all that. And they got promoted, okay? The job got done. But the managers that liked to joke around and be the buddy of the employees that worked there, everybody liked them, but they were never promoted. And things weren't done as well because the employees, whether they realized it or not, knew they could get away with more with those type of managers. It's the same thing. So you got to be... If you're serious about your career and you don't want anything to happen again, you got to be that officer that you're not the buddy with the people working under you or joking around with them. It will come back to bite you in the ass. And I got to seriously wonder if you were you weren't doing that. If you were obviously a strict, not a strict officer, but obviously an officer that you weren't allowing any BS and you weren't joking around, will this happen in the first place? Because they might be fearful of what would happen to them. I don't know, but I'm just saying. So going forward got to be serious, especially if you have any women serving under you. You cannot joke around. This is just the way the world has gone, okay? It sucks. I get it. But I again, congratulations on your promotion, and I really hope you do well. But just listen to what I have to say, okay? So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this, especially you guys in the military, or especially you guys have served. Let me know what you guys think about this. Have you guys been in situations like this where the littlest thing had a negative impact on you, promotions, your career, all that. I mean, it, it, this is how the world is. It's, it's bullshit, but it's how it is. Okay? Let me know. You military guys, let me know. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.